Thursday afternoon on demand, storm tracker forecast. Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurt checking with you a little after 1 p.m. Look at the temperatures at 1 o'clock here on your Thursday. Well above average. More widespread 70s, uh, especially east of the Continental Divide. We could have a few new record high temperatures again for the fourth day in a row. We'll report tonight at 5.30 and 10. Red flag warnings are up for the eastern half of the Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest. Gusty winds, low humidity and warmer than normal temperatures. New fire starts are possible. But here comes a sharp pattern change. And right now, confidence is higher for bigger impacts across central, north central Montana. Snowfall totals could be in the 12 to 18 inch range around Great Falls. But you get back up along the Rocky Mountain front, there could be one to two feet of snow. But a lot of wind could be blowing that around. So here's the setup. We've got uh, pretty much the same pattern we've been looking at. We've got a strong west-southwest flow, and that's not going to change much into your Friday. But this low pressure system is going to knock this ridge out of the way. So this thing's going to be digging into northern Nevada and then rolling up into southwest Montana, and that should begin to occur on Saturday. So initially, with the warm air in place, there could be valley rain and mountain snow Saturday, but as cold Arctic air undercuts that, that means widespread significant snow is possible Saturday evening and into Sunday. So it's a dry Friday, it's a dry Friday night, it's a dry Saturday morning. But Saturday afternoon, again, a lot of moisture coming up from the south and west and cold air coming in from the north. As these two collide, it will produce, again, some very heavy snowfall across southwest and central and north central areas of Montana. There's going to be some significant travel difficulties here as rain changes to snow, Arctic air moves in, wet roads could ice up, and there could be some significant snow accumulations even here in southwest Montana. I am anticipating either some winter weather advisories or with these type of snow totals, there could be some winter storm warnings issued for our area as well. So I've got to give a little more time uh, from the National Weather Service as they adjust the forecast. But again, plan on about four to six inches of valley snow, some higher, some lower. And again, mountains and passes could have a foot plus. There's going to be a lot of wind with this on Sunday as well. And I'm just worried about the rain changing to snow with Arctic air moving in on top of that. That could really ice things up Sunday into Monday. But the next 24 hours, calm and quiet. Buttes, 30s tonight, 50s tomorrow. Slight cool down for Bozeman as well, 40s tonight and 60s for tomorrow. Much more detailed information on the winter blast coming this weekend tonight at 530 and 10 on KXLF and KBSK.